Hey guys, Ark here with another how to video on how to kill Dexus the Invincible. He is also in the uh, DLC Sir Hammerlock's Big Game Hunt. And right now I'm just showing you the locations of the four furnaces you're going to put iridium into. Uh, the only requirements are 99 iridium, and uh, you're going to have to put anywhere from 23 to 27 in each furnace. And uh, it'll never cost you any more than 99. It, this time it only cost me 96 out of the 99 that I had. And uh, right here, you just need to go down the elevator and just jump down. And uh, sometimes, well, actually, every time you save and quit, you're going to kill uh, Arizona. Or you can just run past them and then stick the already man and then run back out. It doesn't really matter. It's not a requirement to kill him. And uh, as you can see right here, I'm going to show you this location on the map after I stick my uh, iridium in and it's pretty much on the outside far corner down at the very bottom and uh, start right here at the gate and once you go through the gate just uh, go down the elevator, go up the elevator actually make a left and uh, run until you get over here and I'm about to show you that on the map start right there and just run all the way over there so stick it in and the fourth one is right here you can jump off the cliff it's these are the two easiest to get because you can get them both in one one whack so just jump down this cliff here and go into the awesome waterfall of magicalness it gives you special powers it really doesn't but if it did that would be so cool and these four torches show when all four furnaces are lit and uh, once you have all four furnaces lit go ahead and uh, go where I am on the map and uh, have you or a friend pull the lever, it doesn't matter, just pull the lever to start the uh, little fight. So you have to fight um, three, I think three waves of enemies before you fight Dexodus and uh, they're fairly easy. The last wave you get a bunch of witch doctors and, and super warriors or whatever they're called. And um, there's actually another invincible you can spawn like this and uh, we'll show you that in our next video or one of our next videos, I don't know if it'll be the next or not but uh... yeah, so today's Wednesday, the 23rd, so we should have a video out for 26th um... probably Saturday or Sunday we'll have a video out showing you uh, another boss fight or um, starting our legendary guides or seraph guides or something like that, I don't know, we have a bunch of cool stuff so lined up for you guys and um, I just want to thank you guys for the support on the last video thanks for the likes, the comments, um, all the feedback, we really appreciate it if we're doing anything wrong just uh, let us know or just help us improve, get better um, hopefully you'll, you'll like the quality of this video I'm gonna have to render it and upload it at the same time so the quality may be a little bit worse but that's okay if it is, I can fix that next time. I'll do a separate render and upload. And uh, just kind of speeding up through all these fights. Because this, this would be like a 20 minute, 20 to 30 minute video if I just left everything the same speed. Because it takes so long to travel and, you know, we die a lot. Not, not necessarily a lot, but uh, we die a couple times while fighting Dexodus. Because it gets a few lucky hits on us, but you know he doesn't regain health if you're playing with more than one person. I'm not sure if you if he has like if he regains health when you're playing solo. I'm sure he does, like all the other invincibles. But um, yeah, don't don't leave the area if you put the iridium in the furnaces because it will erase all the iridium you have. Because I had 75 and I put all 75 in them. I left to go get 25 more and I came back put the 25 in and realized hey all the rest of them's gone so I wasted you know 100 iridium pretty much for nothing so uh, definitely don't do that uh, if you're gonna apply Dexodus definitely commit yourself to it don't don't just say like oh, I'm gonna put 50 in now and do 50 later because it, it'll take you twice as much time to do that as it would with just you know the regular 99 so pretty much you can use any strategy you want to kill this guy. Make sure you hit the yellow spots on him that does a lot of damage. It's a it's critical spots, and if you don't, this fight will be extremely long. And you know, when you're trying to farm an invincible, you don't want the fight to be long. You want the fight to stay 
around 2 minutes 30 seconds at the most. Uh, you'd really like it to keep under a minute if you're trying to go you know, for legendaries and stuff and you can pretty much do that with every invincible there is right now. Um, even Pyro P, you know, even Hyperius. You know, it may seem impossible to some people. You're just not using the right strategy or setup. Uh, this guy is fairly easy. Just keep shooting him and he'll eventually die. There are, uh, I believe, three attack styles he does. Um, he shoots little green balls out. Those do the most damage. Um, the next is like a little brown like mist of water. That'll do a lot of damage too if you stand in it, but you can evade it easier. And uh, the third attack is if you stand underneath him, he will crush you with his stomach. And this is like a gigantic tea bag to the face. So um, it's pretty much just if you're playing with more than one person, this is going to be a pretty long fight. Um, what I recommend is one person staying on one side of him and one on the other. So he'll expose his criticals pretty much all the time to at least one of you. If you're playing by yourself, I haven't tried it by myself yet, but um, good luck. It, it shouldn't be that hard. I mean, considering how voracious is is being beat by you know people like one person at a time, it, it should not be that hard. Which I I know the North Fleet is really overpowered, and I don't know if you can use it here. I don't think it'd be wise to use it on this boss. I think it'd be wise to use, you know, a shotgun or a submachine gun or, you know, something that does a lot of damage really fast. And, uh, I, I don't really know what this guy drops. We haven't gotten a good drops yet. We only kill him twice, or actually three times. I believe Odd Womble and, uh, Warcoder Womble killed him a few more times than that. And, uh, it drops this blue assault rifle that he wants, and, uh, we just really appreciate you guys watching this video, and thanks for taking your time. Uh, hope See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.